Look at the beautiful flowers. This is Charlie and today I'm gonna be doing a video on change. And also, this is a video response to myself to my video, How to Make Friends and Also Don't Change. There's two videos and this is kind of a video that I wanted to make. Um, but also, it came, it came to me because a subscriber messaged me asking a very simple but also complicated question and you'll see why in a second. Um, it's simple because she actually answered it in her own question to me. But it's also complicated because it depends on the person. So you guys know I like to talk, so this is going to be one of those long videos where I just go on and ramble. So the question is, or the message is, by the way, if you ever send me a message and I decide to make a video response to it, I'm not going to reveal who you are, so don't worry about that. So the question, so the message is, Hi Charlie, thanks for replying to my message. All of your videos are really interesting, even if it's just walking around, you walking around Walmart with your favorite chips. <laughs> Thank you, I enjoy my Takis chips. I just watched your How to Make Friends video because I've had terrible problems making friends all of my life and I thought you might have some useful advice for people like me. You know the part near the end at about 16 minutes and 35 seconds, man I make long videos, <laughs> where you do an impression of someone with no energy. That's exactly what I'm like, only 100 times worse and I, I'm like that 100% of the time. Maybe I need to become a different sort of person with, ener with more energy. The only problem is that kind of contradicts what you're saying in the don't change video where you say some people should be happy to be the to be themselves. I suppose I need to find a healthy balance between the two. Let me zoom in. I suppose I need to find a healthy balance between the two attitudes. What do you think? If you have any more advice, I'd love to hear it. The only problem is I'm about five years older than you, so than you are, so maybe I'm getting a bit too old to change. So that was her question to me, and it's a very interesting question and a good question. It's not a crazy question. Um, pretty much she's asking, She's saying that she wants to make friends, however, she's very drained, kind of. She's not very energetic, um, but at the same time, she wants to know how do you balance changing and not changing all at the same time. <laughs> so pretty much you did answer your own question. You do, it is a balance. And what I was saying about making friends is that if you want to make friends and the type of friends that you want um, that are going to stay and be in your life and remain your friends are the people that are gonna care about you for who you are, not what you look like and all of that stuff. So how do you balance changing and not changing? <laughs> That's pretty much the question because it is about changing but at the same time changing for the right reasons and what is it exactly that you're changing. So this is kind of interesting. So I tried to watch my video, um, the don't change video. I didn't watch the how to make friends video because I know I, I mentioned in the video that the way that I make friends is being more available like you can't just sit in your room with your door closed and locked and say I'm gonna make friends you have to unlock the door you have to open the door and you have to maybe either invite friends in or go out and go out and have yourself available to get friends to receive friends so it is one thing to say you know I want friends but if what you're doing isn't bringing in those friends, you have to change in order to receive the outcome that you want. So this is really a fun topic for me because um, I really enjoy talking about things about life and stuff like that. And so it's really interesting to watch my old videos. And that was almost a year ago, the don't change video. And 
it's kind of interesting because if you look at that video and then you look at this video today and you compare me and that person that I that made the video which is still me I changed so much like you can see my hair you can see I don't know the way I look I've changed so much but at the same time I'm still that person that thought the same way I just I did change and some change is good and some change is bad and some what we what we label good and bad but all the same it still change so what I was saying about um, how I make friends is I make myself available to receive friends I go out and I'm available for people to have contact with me and you can't receive what you want unless you make what you want available I was talking to my mom about this and I was telling her about people who say um, well the lighting is not good um, people who say that they they want a job and they sit there and they say I'm gonna get a job but then their actions don't match what their desires are and so I'm questioning is that really your desire or are you just thinking you want to desire that okay I'm getting a little out there but what I mean is if that's really what you want then you'll line up your desires with your actions and so sometimes we want friends but we don't go out to really pursue that and so how do I explain this? Some change is good. And in the video of don't change, I wasn't necessarily saying stay the same forever. It's more about realizing that the changes that you make in your life are supposed to be for yourself, not for outside people who you're changing for and so realizing that the change is more about what you want for yourself and not what other people around you want for you and so not only realizing for example there's a lot of people who want to lose weight and some people want to lose weight so that their husband will love them more and it's not really about changing for that person but figuring out why you want for yourself to lose weight or to change um, and so at the same time it's realizing you have a desire to be different but at the same time accepting and loving yourself for you and it's kind of like well how can you accept and love yourself if you want to change it it's it, it, there's a balance of being here now and realizing this is who I am now this is the body that I'm in right at this moment but also realizing that in this moment you can be that change you want by just changing your mind like um, for example the best way that I can put it is very it makes it very simple to understand what I'm saying when I say we're changing every day and it's not necessarily that it's a bad change it's just a different change and if you think about it your clothing is an expression of who you are and we are daily changing our clothing according to the way that we feel and the way we perceive ourselves and it's not necessarily that this is a good or bad change it's just change and so for example think about yourself when you were five years old what kind of clothes did you wear when you were five if you wore those exact clo same clothes today, would you feel completely ridiculous? Yes. <laughs> when I was five, okay, today is the spring, or yesterday was the spring equinox, and it's spring. And today, now, um, this time of year, I remember when I was little, my mom used to dress me in these pink, frilly clothes with little lace and like I would have my little Easter basket and I would like walk around with my little pink shoes with a little bow which I still like bows but <laughs> we'll get into that later but um actually I have a bow ring on um but if I wore the exact same clothes that I did when I was five that wouldn't be a, the correct expression of who I am even though it was who I was when I was little 
it's not an expression of who I am now. And even if I think about it, if I wore the same clothes I did three years ago, I would feel completely ridiculous because it's not an expression of who I am today. And so when you think about it, we're always changing. Every day we're deciding who we are and we're putting on those clothes that represent who we are. But it's not really necessarily who we are, it's just an expression of who we are. <laughs> so if you think about it, we're daily putting on who we are. And we're daily deciding what we're not and what we are. And it's okay. And it's okay to think, what do I feel today? And put that on. And if you think about it, we can constant, consciously become who we want to be by choosing who we want to be. And so today, when I wake up, I'm going to say, I'm not going to be like, okay, today I am, today this is who I am, so I'm going to put on this, but also think, who do I want to be? And by putting on the clothes of someone that I want to be like, I become that person. Hello. <laughs> um, so let's say, for example, when you go in for an interview, this will make more sense when I explain myself more. When you go into an interview, when you're getting dressed, you're not putting on who you are necessarily, but you're putting on who you want to be. So when you're, with your idea of who you want to be is confident, I want to walk into that interview confident and strong. You imagine what you, you think about what you imagine to be confident and strong. And with the image in your head of confidence and strong is someone with the suit or someone with heels by thinking, okay, you know what? I'm not really feeling confident and strong, but I wanna feel confident and strong. You then put on those clothes that represent what you desire to be. And by putting on those clothes, it kind of makes a, sh a shift in your awareness of, man, I am becoming confident and strong. Therefore, you are now confident and strong. Just in that shift of the change and I actually see this a lot in television shows and some of the shows that I watch make a lot of sense because when you see those like um, shows where they change your appearance um, what are they called image whatever um, I can't think of the word right now but I was watching a TV show um, you know that Housewives of Atlanta? There's one of the girls, she has a new show where she's creating a star. And when you create a star, it's really interesting because they come in very, like they come in one way, but then when they change their appearance, they become another person, kind of. And um, it's really interesting how what you wear creates kind of who you are. And it's really interesting because it's in the same way it's not really who you are, but at the same time it is. And it's kind of like this whole, I think it's called paradox, and like, it is but it isn't. And so, I was watching this show where the, the girl comes in and she doesn't have this confidence, but then by changing her clothes alone, creates a whole different like person and her confidence rises in just changing her appearance and it's kind of interesting because we're constantly changing who we are on a daily basis and it's not just an outward thing it's on an inward thing and when I watched my video about don't change I saw not only the outward change that I made, and this is just like my fake hair, that is not an expression of who I am, but at the same time it is an expression of who I am because I chose to put it on and I choose to keep it on. But at the same time, like in a few weeks, this is not gonna be here. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna have my fro back and I'm gonna be still the same person, but an expression of something else. like. It's kind of like uh, an expression of my creativity and like watching my video of don't change is an exact kind of 
idea of what I mean by changing and not changing all at the same time. I chose to change my appearance as an expression of who I am today, but at the same time, at the core, my ideas of not changing are still the same because I haven't really changed who I am. I still believe in the person that I am, as in I'm not gonna change for you, but I'm gonna be the change for myself while at the same time loving myself. And I don't know if I, I, and pretty much this is exactly your answer. You answered your own question. It is about balance and having a, a decent balance of change and at the same time, no change. And if you have watched my videos for a long time, you guys notice all this change that I've gone through. And it's kind of, it's really interesting and I love watching my videos and seeing how the way I thought before isn't the way I think, but at the same time it kind of is the way I still think, but it's not, like, <laughs> it's kind of weird. And so, um, that's a cool car, look at it. <laughs> okay, he waved and smiled, that was cool. So. Okay, this guy is now being a distraction. <laughs> this other guy who is trying to... I don't know. Yeah, candid camera. You're on candid camera. Except it's not so cam candid. So, okay, now this other guy is stopping. You're on a video. Hi! <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yes, I am. No, I'm doing a YouTube video. So I guess, yeah. Is that your puppy? Is that your puppy? Yeah. It's cute. So the guy with the cool car just stopped. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting like how people act when um, they think no one's around, but then when they realize that someone is around, as in a video camera, they change who they are. <laughs> So, um, because one of the guys, this other guy was driving by and he was trying to flirt with me, but then when he realized he, there was a camera, he kept going. <laughs> he probably has a wife. <laughs> okay, so anyway, about change. Why does this say that there's only one minute and 20 seconds? Let me check this. So in all of my rambling, let me just get to the point, finally. The point is, you want to make more friends. Bye, have a good day. Thanks. So my point is, you want to make friends and you recognize that you also have an issue. <laughs> and that issue is that you have no energy. You are not an energetic person. You are just this. There is no peak, there is no da 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 You know, there's a usually a high and a low and um, your people's, um, his car alarm is going off. Um, there's usually a high and a low, like some type of peak and then some type of downfall of like your energy level, but you say that you have this stagnant, just straight on um, energy level type of personality. And so my advice to you is, well first, it's great that you recognize this because the best part of change is not changing unconsciously, but being conscious of what you're changing and why you're changing. So first, kudos to you for being conscious of this state that you're in and the issue. And so now, once you realize this issue, you have to figure out what you wanna change and why you wanna change it. You want to be, you want more friends and you have to figure out what kind of friends you want. Do you want friends that are going to be around you like that because they enjoy who you are? Do you like who you are? Do you like this stagnant person? This person that is at the same level? Do you enjoy this about yourself? And if you realize that you don't, this is not who you want to be, then you realize that this is not who you are because if it was, you'd be, you'd be content, I guess. But at the same time, it is who you are <laughs> and you're not content, so you need to change that. This is kind of like a circle, if you notice. <laughs> so, what can you do? 
um, first, maybe make a list of things that you can do in your own in your own ability to become more energetic and to put yourself in a situation to make friends while at the same time raising your energy level um, so for example if I have no energy I will think of ways to give myself more energy what is something for example that I do that raises my energy level I exercise and by exercising, I realize I have so much energy. I have so much, like, it only not makes me energetic, but it makes me happy. And by being energetic and happy, I'm creating a better environment to bring in more friends. And so this exercise is changing me, my energy level, but also changing my situation. I'm bringing in the ability, I'm making myself ab available available to bring in more friends so what else is something I can do besides exercise I can sit out here in in an open environment and you just you guys just saw I just brought in some guy who was like just driving by and I waved at him like he had a cool car and I waved at him we didn't exchange numbers or anything but I mean that opened up a situation where I could have just made a friend and I didn't <laughs> but like I'm not like trying to bring in any friends right now but I could if I wanted to like you guys can see like just the little things you do that create your environment for what you want and by sitting outside instead of sitting in your house you are bringing in more friends by me making YouTube videos and opening myself up to other people, I am making more friends. And some people might say, no, that's not a real friend because that's like a virtual friend. Yeah, but it's a friend. <laughs> I feel so close to my subscribers. I feel, I've made so many friends. You guys saw in Korea, um, with all the YouTube community that is out there, um, I have made friends. And these are people that I actually know. I've met them in person and I've created friends in that, that way. And so, by changing your environment, you are creating what you want. And you have that ability to just not sit there and say, oh, I can't make friends, like, oh well. No, you have the power to create what you want. And I sound so cheesy right now, but it's so true. Like, when you realize that, you have control of your life. And you create what you want in your life. And if what you are living right now is not what you want, then you can change that and you can stop making excuses and so once you get to that point of like wow I have so much power in my life to create what I want that's when you really start to make good changes not stupid changes that just like are pointless but real conscious change and that's pretty much my video like it is about balance it's about figuring out what you want to change and why some of these things are really pointless changes if you think about it but some of them are really valid changes that we want to make with ourselves and when you figure out the pointless change that is just like today I want to I don't know Actually, when you think about it, some of it is not pointless. <laughs> but okay, anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. But even like to down to my nail polish color, like this change that I decide is kind of like who I am. Today I feel bright, and then when I feel like this color is not serving me, I'm gonna change it. And um, I don't know, just when you realize how much power you have as a human being to create purposeful conscious change, that is when you really start bringing in what you want in your life and you stop making excuses and so this is gonna be um, you're gonna see like a big change in my videos if you haven't already of the kind of videos that I'm going at um, because I have changed a lot and it's not necessarily a bad change it's a change that I'm accepting that I love and that I'm consciously doing because I'm changing into who I believe I am as a person and 
it's amazing like once you get to this point it's like you really feel like there's nothing that you can't do in life I think I said that right <laughs> um, once you realize that like it's like the world opens up and it's it's amazing and I feel like some people are just sitting back like what in the world is she talking about she has gone crazy but then there's some of you out there that's like wow like once you realize this you're gonna get up and you're gonna start taking action and doing things that you've always wanted to do but you realize you felt that you couldn't do and once you realize you can do it if you actually take action and become the change that you want to be it's like it's crazy <laughs> and so change but don't change um, it's about balance really it's about balance and once you realize that um, it really becomes a good a good thing in your life so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I hope that it does become purposeful to you um, I know there's a lot of people out there that want to lose weight and I can also tie this in there's so many things that you can think about that you want to change about yourself for example there's weight and one of those things is um, being comfortable with you but being also realizing that you can control your current situation and that's all in your mind because if you start to feel the way you want to feel you're already creating change and once you realize that like oh my gosh so many doors open up like if you want to be not thin but just healthy if you want to be healthy and you don't feel healthy choose to feel healthy make a conscious decision today to choose to feel healthy choose to be healthy and in choosing to feel and be healthy your choices will change you will start making decisions according to how you feel oh my gosh like this became like a whole discussion if any of you guys want to make a video response please make a video response I really want to like start creating a envir an environment for discussion and in that you guys can comment but I would love to see video responses to this and um, open up discussion and kind of have this back and forth discussion with you guys because it's cool like YouTube is a great environment for discussion it's also an environment for some crazy stuff too but <laughs> it's a great um, I think it's a great environment for discussion um, so yeah change I've changed a lot and in the next few in the next future of my YouTube I'm gonna be discussing a discussion <laughs> discussing a lot of this change that I've gone through and um, yeah I'm happy and life is good and it's spring um, yeah it's spring and I'm at this beautiful tree and enjoying spring and spring equinox everything is equal right now <laughs> um, so yeah you can see a lot of change in nature and change is not bad change is good so thank you guys for watching and subscribing I hope to see some video responses and some comments and fueling discussion and thank you guys and I'll see you guys later bye yeah I'm not gone <laughs> so I figured it out the only stupid or not 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 okay the only stupid or pointless change is unconscious change and once you figure that out that's when you can make conscious good changes and also you made a statement that maybe you're too old to change you're never too old to change and um, you can experience this through nature um, the earth is really old and it's always changing and that's like the beauty of change it's always happening and it's never too soon or too late to change you can change now or you can change later but it's you're gonna change no matter what so you can choose to make conscious changes instead of making the changes that are unconscious and um, yeah so okay bye <laughs>